here we go. <laughs> this is how every one of the videos starts. <laughs> I have a bit of a difficult relationship with one of my sisters. I have three sisters, two of them are older, and I have wonderful relationships with them. And they have been my role models for my entire life. But my little sister, oh, I do want to preface anything I say with this. She did have a very difficult start to to her life. She's adopted and she came from a situation that was not great. When she was adopted by my family, I had to be around five years old. So she's basically been my little sister for as long as I can remember. When she first came to my house, it was rough. For one thing, we weren't sure if her parents were going to get clean and be able to take her back. So she wasn't supposed to call my mom mommy yet or my dad daddy because she had a mommy and daddy and we weren't sure if she was gonna go back to live with them. It ended up that she didn't. And um, so it, I guess that transition was awkward from not being able to call someone mommy and daddy when you're you know, a year and a half old to being able to. She ha had a like a distended belly and caved in cheeks. And I mean, she was a baby when babies are supposed to be chubby and she, her teeth stuck straight forward because all they, when she cried because she was hungry, they would just give her a pacifier and she would suck on it so her teeth grew in straight forward. And she wasn't, she would be crying all the time unless she had a graham cracker in each hand at all times because she was just used to being hungry. She was just the monkey in the middle, I guess, because it was me and my brother was, three years younger than me and then she's a, about a year younger than him a little less than a year and uh so we are very competitive me and my brother and she was the one that we always wanted to be on our side because if it's two against one obviously the one is gonna lose so she i mean she kind of like had her choice and we would both like woo her so that was a lot of our games that we played and she was also i mean we were the girls so anything girly we would do together. I mean, she's adorable, one. She is probably the most beautiful girl that I have ever met. And in her words, um, just to emphasize the point, she likes to say, every boy who meets me likes me. And I do not understand that kind of confidence. So I really do kind of admire that about her, that she can just like take any situation and be like, well, obviously everyone here likes me, so how, how am I going to get out of this looking like the hero? She's smart in a lot of ways. She has struggled in school a lot, but socially, I feel like girl can maneuver her way around and get what she wants from people. It's just like smooth. She's very smooth. <laughs> she is, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's, she's got a great heart. I don't know. I called her all kind of nicknames like Blue and Poopsie and things that didn't make any sense at all. Like Marvin, I think as one time she said, I'm starving Marvin. And then I laughed for like 45 minutes. But I feel weird. I feel weird calling her those childish nicknames and stuff like that now because she doesn't feel like the same person to me now. She's just made some questionable decisions. She's always really been into boys. I guess that's pretty normal, makeup and boys. So she said she was gonna grow up and go to cosmetology school after high school. And things started kind of turning down not a great path when she, she got pulled out of high school. My parents, especially my dad, who knew her parents, in fact, her biological father is my uncle, and he really got scared that she was making questionable decisions. So he had us take her out of public school, which would have been fine if there had been a good backup plan, but that just didn't happen. It ended up being online school, which works for a lot of people, but it did not work for her. So then the next thing you know, she is years behind in her education and her only interests are still boys and makeup which I mean is fine for cosmetology school, but you still have to get your high school diploma. But around the time that my parents got divorced for the second time, my sister went to go live with my mom. And my mom made her and her boyfriend promise that they would never be in the apartment when she wasn't, which 
didn't happen. And again, I don't think that's out of the realm of normal. My mom kind of discovered all this in one traumatic evening. My mom confronted her and she just moved that night. She moved in with her boyfriend's family. He is in was in basic training to go into the Coast Guard and so he wasn't even there but she's still it's been gosh it's had to have been close to a year now. I think that it's interesting with younger siblings because you are connected with them and you do feel responsible for their actions but at the same time, you have no real say over their life. To a lot of people, being a mother and being in a relationship, that is what they want out of life. And I think maybe it's just because I've seen my little sister go from wanting her own career and her own goals to not wanting that anymore. And it feels like settling to me. I don't want to make it a blanket statement. I feel like she has alienated her family to the best of her capabilities. She has, I mean, she doesn't answer my calls anymore. I felt very almost betrayed by her decision and I, it really had nothing to do with me. So I shouldn't have felt this way. I don't feel like she's really my sister anymore, which is a lot, yeah. I kind of first started to notice our relationship was changing, I mean, basically immediately after she moved away from my mom. I thought that she was going through weird 17 year old angsty stuff, but it was not. It was stuff that she couldn't handle on her own and she was trying to, which really hurts me because I thought that we shared everything and apparently our relationship wasn't what I thought it was all along. It was, I think that's part of the reason why I felt betrayed was because our relationship was not this close thing that I thought it was. I was telling her everything and it was one way. It felt like a really bad breakup. As in someone that you love and you had expected there to be more of a future with is just leaving your life unexpectedly. If I could have one last conversation that she listened and actually absorbed, didn't sort of put up her wall and pretend that she's listening, I would tell, I would tell her that I do love her and that she's always she's always going to be like my little poopsie no matter what and um that she is such a special person and she should have more than just she should have more than what she's aiming for right now having her as a sister has brought me out of my bubble a lot I think that I kind of grew up in a situation where both my older sisters were great academically. One of them was super into sports and the other one was, I mean, like crazy national merit scholar. My little brother is the same way. And she, she just, by being sort of an outlier, I think she has exposed me to different things. And on a bigger scale, if she, if she can pull this off, and I really hope that she can, I hope that I'm not right in assuming that this isn't gonna go well. Because if she can pull this off and be successful and make it and be happy, then it just goes to show you that there is no right way. I think if there's something I could do better and if there's something I would give advice to other people to do, it would be to accept people for who they're going to be because you can't change what they're going to do. I feel responsible for her because I am her big sister, but I can't change what she's gonna do. She's an adult, she's gonna make her own decisions. I can't change that. I need to accept her and love her. And she is an amazing person. I want to have a good relationship with my sister and I think that that can happen in the future. I'm gonna keep working on it. It's a struggle that I have in my life that I am excited to solve because it can only lead to good things. Thank you so much for watching my little story and keep tuning into our discussion. It's such a cool thing and I, I love it. That's it. <laughs> Yay!